Hey ambassadors, welcome to today's edition of What's On This Guy's Mind. I don't know, but here we go. Hey, uh, yeah, I was reading through the Expedition Promised Land book. I hope you have it, I hope you're enjoying it because it pretty, it's amazing. So I was reading about Capernaum and where the lady with the issue of blood came up behind Jesus and said, if I could only touch his robe, right? Because she heard and she heard and she heard about Jesus and she had the faith to just touch his robe and she would be healed. And of course that's what happened. But here's what, what occurred to me as I was reading that, right? I picture like these throngs of people just surrounding Jesus and, and just, uh, it's like a cacophony of sound, voices, animals, whatever, right? And this one lady just reached in, touched Jesus's uh, garment and she was healed. And remember what Jesus did, right? He stopped. He stopped because he wanted to acknowledge someone that had that faith in him. So here's the part that, that I want to encourage you with. I, I just picture that when he stopped and turned, that he just quieted the crowd. And, and when this came to me, I pictured similar to when he calmed the seas. And the seas were calm. They went from being loud and boisterous and scary to calm. And I picture the, the crowd being the same way, that he, he uh, just calmed the crowd so they could hear him acknowledge this, this daughter of Sarah and say, your faith has made you well. But even more so, as I shared a few months ago, that he was so personal in what he did that he bent down, reached her, grabbed her hand, right? Looked her in the eye and said, your faith has made you well. So ambassadors, my encouragement to you is this that as there's so many voices, you know, trying to either attack you or get your attention, just know that as you keep your eyes on the Lord Jesus, as you keep your faith on him, he will quiet those voices. I prophesy that in the name of Jesus. He will quiet those voices. So you could hear the still small voice of our Savior say, your faith has made you well, right? So keep your eyes on him. And trust that he will, he will quiet those voices. He will quiet that attack. And you are victorious because you fight from victory and not for victory, right? All right, ambassadors, thank you for this time together. I will see you at NRH this Sunday. So be good to Alex over at Frisco Hall. And just to let you know, there's a couple things going on. First of all, Mother's Day. Happy Mother's Day to all you mothers. We will be handing out gifts to the mothers during the service, probably during announcements. And then second of all, we're going to record a birthday greeting for Pastor Prince. So part of that will happen during the service. And then after service, we'll have an area set up where you could uh, share a personal greeting with him, all right? We don't guarantee that every greeting will be used, but uh, you can give it a go, right? All right, ambassadors, love you guys. Howard, I will see you on Sunday. Howard and Philip, I'll see you on Sunday. So get ready, it's gonna be wild. All right, guys, see you later. Bye-bye.